This is the first admission for this 56 year old woman, comma, who states she was in her usual state of good health until one week prior to admission, full stop. At the time she noticed the abrupt onset, open bracket, over a few seconds to a minute, close bracket of chest pain, which she described as dull and aching in character, full stop. The pain began the left parasternal area and radiated up to her neck, full stop. The ep first episode of pain one week ago occurred when she was working in her garden in the middle of the day, full stop. She states she had been working for approximately 45 minutes when began to feel tired before the onset of pain, full stop. Her discomfort was accompanied by a shortness of breath, comma, but no sweating, comma, nausea, comma, or vomiting, full stop. The pain lasted approximately 5 to 10 minutes and resolved when she went inside and rested in a cool area, full stop. Cat blood pressure 168 over 98, comma, pulse 90, comma, respiration 20, comma, temperature normal, full stop. New paragraph. The patient appears alert, comma, oriented and cooperative, full stop. New paragraph. The skin is normal in appearance, comma, texture and temperature, full stop. New paragraph. The patient's description of dull, comma, aching, comma, exertion related, substernal chest pain is suggested of isemic cardiac origin, full stop. Her findings of a FH of early ASCVT, comma, hypertension, comma, and early surgical menopause are pertinent risk factors for development of coronary artery disease, full stop. Therefore, comma, the combination of this patient's presentation, comma, and multiple risk factors make angina pectoris the most likely diagnosis, full stop. The pain symptoms appear to be increasing, comma, the occurrence of pain at rest suggests this fits the presentation of unstable angina, comma, and hospitalization is indicated, full stop. Cap, thank you for referring Betty, full stop. She was admitted to the hospital in early November with congestive heart failure, comma, which was precipitated by recurrent atrial fibrillation, full stop. New paragraph. Since discharge, she has been feeling better without significant dyspnea on exertion, comma, but has had fatigue. Full stop. The symptoms have substantially improved since prior to hospitalization, full stop. New paragraph. Other problems include CAPD and she did have mild respiratory wheeze on evaluation today, full stop. She remains on inhalation therapy, full stop. I will see her in six months, full stop. She will follow this up with her family doctor in the next month, comma, and with this, backspace four. Her electrophysiologist who will plan placement of an ICD for sudden death prophylaxis. Full stop, new paragraph. Please do not hesitate to contact my office as needed, full stop.